my food is cooking everything is going on well i kind of forget um when to put in the mushrooms i don't usually use mushrooms you know um that's my husband's new way of cooking okra sauce so <laughs> i'll call him and ask when <laughs> I hope he's not in a meeting or something. Mm, he's not picking. Probably in a meeting. Wrap around. Yeah. You you sit bit. hi everyone you are welcome back to my channel this is georgia here and i am in australia on this channel i cover my lifestyle food and also health okay so i talk about my lifestyle and also i cook i can cook yes and <laughs> i give health advice basically this is what this channel is all about all right everyone um i'm in the kitchen um yes and i'll say this and i don't feel shy saying this <laughs> i don't cook to be very honest i can't remember the last time i cook um it's, it's my husband who cook at home uh yes and um <laughs> yeah i'm going to mix things together okay i know how to cook please i know how to cook but you know my husband always cook at home so now I'm trying to figure out what goes first and you know what goes in second. Um, it's been a long time I have not cooked. <laughs> I have not cooked, so I'll you know, and when I'm stuck, I will call my husband for him to tell me you know what to do. Okay, so today I'm going to cook the Benku and okra sauce right now. Um, so I have all these ingredients here with me, and I will lift it one after the other for you to see. So, um, I have my okra here, okay. Usually I use the fresh okra, but unfortunately <clears throat> I don't have a fresh one. So this one is a frozen one. I have to leave it this morning for it to thaw, so it's it's ready for it to go. Um, and also onions, okay. Um, somebody will ask, um, why are you using a lot of onions? But, you know, I cut them, I shred them, and then put it, add it to the okra and cook it before I put it in a whole, you know, sauce. So this is what I'm going to do. But anyway, you will see how I do it anyway. And also, um, I have some, you know, um, maggi or chicken powder. This is a chicken powder. I'm using chicken powder. The no chicken powder, this is what I use. Um, people will be familiar with the maggi, but I think I like this one. It tastes better. <laughs> so I'm going to use this one. And of course, yes, salt, my iodized salt. And my meat, um, uh, or my, your, my protein i am going to use i have the kobe here this is the dry tilapia and then we salt it okay so it's called the kobe um this one too my husband did it um some beef as you can see i have some beef um, i like my beef but according to health professionals it is not good so i'm not going to eat it in excess just uh three i have only three here and i am going to eat just one <laughs> and also i have my coat <laughs> This is from a cow, okay. I have I love that so um but I don't eat it that much because I mean it is not really good. If you eat it excess, it's not really good for your health. And also my mushrooms, my mushrooms, okay. So I'm going to add mushrooms. Um husband cook it and he always add mushrooms. I've never added mushrooms because it's been a long time I've not cooked. So I'm going to call my husband to show me when he put the mushrooms in, okay, because I don't want the mushroom to be melting or anything like that in so and yes of course my palm oil i don't use palm oil much there's just a little bit you know just to garnish it sometimes i use no palm oil i don't use palm oil at all um because palm oil really is not you know eating it in excess is not really good so i just want a little bit and this is my benku look this is my benku and i use the salasi i like it i've been eating this for a very very long time you don't have to mix it it's already mixed with um with the cassava dough and everything so all you have to do is to mix your water and start cooking it okay so basically this is what i am going to do right now to so to begin with i'll wash my beef and i'll start steaming it all right with a coat 
um it doesn't look hard usually it's very hard and you have to cook it for hours and hours just to soften it i don't think this will be that hard so i will see how i go if it's very hard i'm not going to eat it <laughs> i'll just leave it okay All right, so basically I cut all my beef, okay? Uh, my beef, my coat. Um, I put chili, onions, and um, my chicken powder, okay? So I want to steam this. steaming my beef and also a crab okay I love my crab <laughs> I love my crab so I'm going to add a crab to this I am the only one eating this food so I'm not doing it much because the boys don't actually um, eat it all the time so this afternoon is going to be me hello so just something small not that much more water to cook the coat okay so basically that's what i'm doing My food is cooking, everything is going on well. I kind of forget um, when to put in the mushrooms. I don't usually use mushrooms, you know. Um, that's my husband's new way of cooking okra sauce. So <laughs> I'll call him and ask when. <laughs> I hope he's not in a meeting or something. He's not picking. Probably in a meeting. Barbara. Your friend say, I do baby, I was a day. Mushroom, new gum. Tell me now, the gum. Mushroom, the young woman, and the last, the woman last. The woman last. The woman last. The Oh, okay. In this is your day, your friends, all the nominee be be a goom name, I'm not being. What the mushroom will go, man, I just order crumani go ego. I just said the same time. Oh, okay, because I'm. Oh, okay, all right. All right, okay, my minja way, way. Me go so. Oh my 
all right so the mushroom is just before or after um you know the okra but i can put it together like you know i can put all of them together at the same time uh, but i will prefer because i want um I want it to be a bit tasty. I would prefer to put it in before. So it will absorb the taste, the salt and everything in the end. The chicken powder and everything. I even forgot. There we go. So I'll put this one in. The mushroom. I'll add the mushroom before I add the okra. You can do it, you know, after. That's totally up to you. Okay, now mushroom in. Almost, almost. <laughs> almost done. So my mushrooms and everything is in there already. There we are. The yeah, mushroom is very soft, so. I will be adding my, you know, look, my diced onion first. This is my way, okay, a way of doing this. You can do it the way you want. <laughs> So the next stage is my palm oil. Okay, now I'm going to prepare the bingo. Okay, so this is the, the powdered corn dough. I think it includes um, cassava dough as well, both of them together. Um, so it comes in a sachet like this. Okay, so um, this one um, contains the corn, the dry corn or maize, whatever you call it. Um, the dry corn and we mail it. So it becomes powder and also um, cassava, I'm not really sure if people know cassava here because there was a time I was talking about someone about cassava and it looks like doesn't know. So cassava is a starchy tuber, root and tuber. It's just like eating potatoes, I'm not really sure. <laughs> it's got a lot of carbohydrates in it and it's all starchy. So um, a little bit is mixed to the maize, okay, so they are all dry. What I'm going to do is to mix it with water and then cook it, okay, on the stove. This powdered condo is from Ghana, okay? Um, it's a product of Ghana. <laughs> so this is what I have. You see that? And I'll mix it with water. Not too watery because if it becomes too watery, what is going to happen is your bengku will be very very soft okay so not too watery and not and not too pasty as well so in between if you know what i mean i'm not really sure if my son will eat it i'll go and ask him if he will eat with me Asking now, they don't usually. They eat it sometimes, but not all the time. Hey, dude, will you eat the benku? I'm cooking benku. 
Um, yeah, I get it at like, um, after work. So where are you? I'm still working. Oh, okay. I thought you were upstairs. No. Okay, all right. No. Yeah, I'll add some to it. I'll add some to it. Yeah. Oh, okay, bye. Oh, yeah, you eat it, so I have to add a little bit more to that. The Ghana food here is very expensive, so, <laughs> so sometimes I have to be sure if they are going to eat it, else it's going to be waste. Okay, um, they don't usually eat it that much, so to save my money, I ask before I go. <laughs> All right, so this is what I have. Um, this looks a bit watery to me, but usually what happens is you make it in between pasty and you know watery. It's not too watery, not too pasty. So as you go, you mix, you know, you add water to it. But what I do is I mix it already, so I don't have to add water to it. If I have to, yes, I will. But this one it looks a bit watery already, so I don't think I'll add water whilst I'm cooking it. Um, and to cook it, you need one of these. <laughs> One of these drivers, I don't know how to call this. Uh, we call it the Benkuta in Ghana. <laughs> so, uh, so it looks like a canoe thingy. So you are going to use this one to, you know, turn it around here and there so it will not burn. Yeah, so this is what I have and I am going to cook it. So this time around I'm not going to cover it up okay because if I cover it you will not the slimy feeling will go away which I don't want that I still want the slimy feel of it that makes it very nice <laughs> to swallow easy for you to swallow <laughs> so I'm not going to cover it up and the fact that I did not add tomatoes to it makes the slimy um, feeling stay Usually in Ghana we add tomatoes to it and sometimes with the tomatoes all the slimy can you see that can you see the slimy feeling yeah if you add tomatoes it will just go away people here add baking soda but I am not going to do that it makes it more slimy and I am not going to do that because I'm happy with the slimy without the baking soda I don't want it too slimy so I'm not going to add the baking soda to mine now I don't usually use it, even though I have it here. I use it for baking, I don't use it for baking. Okay, so I'm not going to. There you go. Sometimes I want it to be a bit free, okay, not too thick, not too tight. So I'm going to add a little bit more of water to it. I will just leave it alone to cook whilst I concentrate on my bingo. Can you see that? Now the lumpy is coming in, so you have to be very careful of this, else your bangku is going to be very lump lumpy. So I'll have the time and make sure all the lumps are gone. I need my hands, both hands free, so I can do that. 
okay? I wish you can see this. Okay, so this is where we are at at the moment with the Bimku. Okay, um, my battery died, so I have to cook it and go and charge it a little bit. As you can see, it's a bit hard, so I'm going to add water to it. So at this stage, you have to add salt as well, okay? Some people will put salt in it at the initial stage, but apparently it never cooks. It takes a long time for it to cook. So I don't do that. What I do is I mix the salt, um, you know, to the water. I add the salt to the water and then I put it in here. Okay, so that is exactly what I'm going to do. You can add your salt to the water or you can add the salt straight away on the bingo and then you know top it with water whichever way um at the end of the day it ends out to be the same as long as you are happy with the salt content in there um of the taste i mean of the taste of the salt so So yeah, this is how it looks right now, okay? Yeah, unfortunately I will need my hands um, to cook it, so... It's a bit of a job if it's, you know, for massive people because you need your muscles to drive this. Um, so I'm happy I'm the only one who eats it in the house, like, you know, so I have to cook a small portion or small amount i don't have to cook it that much yeah i add a little bit of water because it is still hard for me some people also want it hard and i'm adding a bit of salt to it as well just so you can see okay so salt to your own taste basically the salt to your own taste I'm just testing this off looks good so what I'm going to do is I'm going to mold it okay into round and I use a bowl okay um I don't touch it people touch it and use their hands to mold it but I use a bowl because I don't want to touch it um if I come to your house and you are giving me beam please don't touch it you know mold it in a bowl like that and make sure there's water in the bowl so it makes it easy for it to turn else it's going to be all stuck so I mold it in a bowl like this right so I just go around like this that's it and I put it in my bowl I make sure the bowl um, has some water in it else it's going to be the bingo will be stuck everywhere and you can't move it around so this is all right so this is my bingo okay have you seen it this is my bingo uh, and i'm going to get my sons ready they don't eat much he will not eat much so he's just going to eat something very yeah so that's all he's going to eat there we go so he's got you know not that much so i have two more in case i want to eat more and look at the bowl my goodness you have to put water in in it okay put water in it till about i'll give it till about tonight this evening and you know it will become soft enough for you to clean it else you can't really because the food is burned um underneath <laughs> my banquet is ready and look at my soup my soup is also ready i have to turn off the stove because it was overcooking okay now i'll turn on the soap a little bit to heat it a little bit for me and i will save my food this is the time to save my
all right guys so my binku is ready all saved okay so i'm going to have the first taste but before i do that i just have to pray before i eat so thank you heavenly father for what you've given me this morning thank you for your loving and your caring um to me and to my family um thank you that you've provided me with this in jesus name i pray amen <laughs> so you have to eat it with your hands okay yum <laughs> very yum It's really good everything is perfect all right yeah guys so this is one of my favorite i have only two favorite and i will try and cook the other one this is one of my favorite so yes it's not a decoration i use it people use it for deco but no i'm not using it i'm drinking from this all right guys <laughs> thank you so much for watching um please don't forget to subscribe to my youtube channel okay um don't forget i will say that again on this channel i cover lifestyle food and health okay so um it's my lifestyle and also i know how to cook and i will cook <laughs> so just like today you spend time with me and also i talk about health okay i give health advice um, but that doesn't mean I'm also I won't learn from people. I also learn from people as well So today is my day off usually when I'm at home um, I watch movie most of the time, but today I decided to cook Thank you so much for I'm watching I'll put all the recipe Everything um, in the comment section down below. So if you want to try just try it and let me know how you go it is healthy there's beef and everything but not that much not in excess okay so it, to me it is very healthy but don't eat this all the time <laughs> thank you so much and i'll see you again in my next video okay bye <laughs>